is a smaller version of the two boat fleet that also includes the larger Prospector 16 form by H2O Canoes. Both boats are, are designed after the original Prospector, made famous by the Chestnut Canoe Company in Fredericton, New Brunswick. The Prospector series is really renowned for its ability to have a boat which does everything well. Nothing best, but everything well. And the way they do that is with its shape itself. Length is 15.4, of course. Beam is 35 and a half inches. Depth is 14. The shape of the boat, of course, is symmetrical, which means it's the same shape from front to back. It has very Canadiana recurved stems, and it has moderate rocker. And what moderate rocker means is it has these curved or flared up ends. And what that allows the boat to do is it shrinks the waterline a little bit to enhance maneuverability. Flaring out fairly quickly, it allows that boat to also come up over, over bigger waves, that kind of thing. So again, back to creating a boat which does everything well. Um, so it handles white water moving conditions well. It's also a nice day boat, tandem paddling, that kind of thing. A nice short boat for overnights. It is intended for more skilled paddlers, which means intermediate, advanced, or those who would like to be. And what I mean by that is if we look at the hull, you'll see we have a rounded hull. And what a rounded keelless hull does is, again, it purposely forsakes a little bit of initial stability to make a very, very maneuverable boat again. So a lot of solo paddlers and a lot of instructors like to have a boat like this because it turns very quickly. They can heel that boat over for solo paddling, that type of thing. So it's, uh, it dances on the water. It's a great boat that way. Construction-wise, H2O Canoe Company offers all its models in four different layups. Layups are the materials and processes used to produce that canoe. This one in particular is their least expensive version. It's a material called Fiberlite, and it's a premium fiberglass boat. What that means is while a lot of people in the industry today are making the cheapest, heaviest fiberglass boats they can, you're going to see ribs, you're going to see valleys where keels are, that kind of thing, H2O has taken the high road, and they've actually used uh, a drive-infused process with a vinyl extra resin to make the lightest, best quality fiberglass boats possible. And the way they do that is they have a hard mold, they have a soft mold, they lay the boat all up at once and simply squash them together. Resin's a binder, it's a glue, and anything excess is allowed to come up out of the mold. That means this little boat at 15.4, the finished way, not the advertised way, the finished way is actually 58 pounds, and that's almost unheard of for fiberglass boats. A lot of Kevlar boats are close to that way. Anyway, just goes a little bit uh, and proves the quality of construction they do. It's also available in a standard Kevlar, uh, also a super light Kevlar, and their premium, the Holy Grail, the ultra light helium. The fiber light, this is just a black anodized aluminum trim. They have a nice five finger handhold grip. Something neat that H2O's done in all their boats. All canoes have to have flotation tanks or air chambers. Air floats, that's a good thing, trust me. But it's nice to have instant access should water seep into that area. Or how many times do you go out and you think, where am I going to put my keys? Where am I going to put my wallet? Well, you've got dry storage. We have in the fiberglass model, we just have ash, black web seats. All canoes come with uh, the deep dish teal ash yoke. This is just a standard port. The port is for integrity. 